It feels like we've been here before, Greece's politicians trying to form a government. Antonis Samaras, leader of New Democracy, winner of the election, must build a coalition. But Alexis Tsipras, whose left-wing Syriza came second, won't join him. Mr Tsipras rejects the bailout package with European partners. Given the mess Greece is in, he may prefer to stay in opposition. The leader of socialist PASOK also met with Samaras. At least they could agree on one thing, that Greece urgently needs a new government. The most crucial point at this time is to achieve a full cooperation, and that should be done by tomorrow night at the latest. It is also obvious that even for those who will choose to play the role of the anti-government party, there is a national duty of responsibility and coalition. One of the problems for any new government here is that five years of recession have opened up deep divisions within Greek society, and holding it together won't be easy. Christos works in this sweet factory on the edge of Athens. He's in his 60s. Like so many older people, he voted new democracy. I did this because I want us to stay in the European Union. If we leave it, everything would be finished for us. If we go to the drachma, we'll go back 50 years in time. And this is Petros, who's 30, unemployed, and voted Syriza. He doesn't see that as a risk, because like most young Greeks, he feels things must change. I mean, somebody in my age, uh, he hasn't got a job, he hasn't got any money, he hasn't got any property. What's he got to lose from, from the same set of, from the same set of uh, you know, uh, governments and from the same set of politicians? And it is the same old parties and politicians who are likely to dominate the new government. They will have to exceed expectations and the rest of Europe will have to offer more help if Greece is to be rescued. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, Athens.